All right, YouTube, this is Mr. Mean coming at you this fine Saturday afternoon. I'm recording this video on my phone, so I have, excuse me for the wonkiness of it. But what I wanted to do is just give you guys, this is for the, uh, the mini is the art part of my channel. Uh, I've been taking a long time to set up this stuff, so I wanted to share it with you. So I'm going to turn the camera around and we're going to go through it. All righty, so as you guys can see, this was the old miniature painting table. And I thought, wow, glass cover. It's got a charging spot for my cell phone. This would be great. It would work wonderful. Uh, note to self, no, it doesn't. Um, had a nice table in it. Uh, that was cool. I will be selling this for 100 bucks. So if you want it and you want to pay the shipping cost, reach out. I had to drink a little bit of my Kool-Aid. Um, so that's the old painting table. It didn't work the way I wanted it to. Um, it didn't have enough space on it. As you can see, it's not very deep. So a quick click to Amazon, and we got this bad boy. This is a sit to stand. I'm going to move my drink. Uh, sorry, my kickstart. This is a little rack I got at Menards. Menards is a local um, home supply, like a Home Depot here in the uh, Midwest, uh, northern Midwest, so Wisconsin and uh, Minnesota. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Uh, nice four shelves. Holds a lot of stuff. Um, got a nice light. My... Artist Opus brushes, my awesome paint mug uh, that some of the YouTube uh, or Discord family members made for me, Stephen O and his lovely wife. Um, it's a nice wood. It comes in sections. Um, you can see his little split right there. And then there's a black pad underneath, which I thought would be great for, you know, painting miniatures and stuff. Um, this desk was $159 on Amazon. That included shipping. So uh, I am a Prime member, so I may have got the shipping for free. I, I think I did. So your your cost may vary. Um, so th this go from the side of the desk here. Uh, we have a little caddy here. It has this light in it. Uh, it has a camera thing in it, but that doesn't work for me. I tried various setups. None of them work. But I got some of my texture paints in there, my snippers, my Artist Opus uh, dry brushing. These things are amazing. Uh, I've tried the cheap makeup brushes. They do work. These hold up way better, and of course the bristles are a lot smaller, uh, made you know more for painting miniatures than putting on makeup. Uh, so yeah, I mean nothing against the uh, Z brushes or whatever they were called; they work great, but these just work a little bit better. So if you can afford them, I highly recommend you get yourself a set. And then I have my Duncan Rhodes Two Thin Coats paint with the paint rack. I finally got that put together last week um, and wanted to get all my paints in it, so I did that. Moving over, this is the stand for my camera. And as you can see, it'll point down on the table. Um, here's some, uh, this is some Grebo Miniatures um, uh, Warriors of Contagion for Blood Bowl. So basically in my Nurgle Legion or my Nurgle uh, faction. I can't talk today, I apologize. Uh, some super glue, various kinds. And then of course, these are the paint racks I get off of Amazon. Uh, they are like $12 a pop, uh, and they are really good. I do recommend you glue them, but they do come with these. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's these clips. They're kind of clear plastic. So you don't really need... I didn't glue this. You just put those clips in. They work really well, and it's very sturdy. This thing isn't going anywhere. And, of course, I got my uh, my uh, Army Painter uh, uh, Speed Paints 1.0. Um, I haven't had any problem with the reactivation, but I don't think you can buy the 1.0 paints anymore. Um, and then, of course, it's a bunch of my old Reaper and my uh, Vallejo model paints up there. Uh, so, yeah, some old paints there with the Reaper stuff. Um, and then, of course, my wet palette from Redgrass Games. My buddy Nubby and his solo RPG uh, YouTube channel. Go check him out if you haven't. Give him a like and a subscribe. He does good content as well. A good friend of mine. Uh, love him like a little brother. Um, of course, I got my self-healing mat here that I use for all my hobby stuff. Uh, of course, again, shout out to Mike for uh, Lemmy Motorhead. My red grass sticker for um, I've bought some of the paint handles, which I have to find. I have no idea where they are. Uh, of course, Mr. Mean uh, Speaks, my sticker with my URL and everything. If you don't have one of these and you're a member of the Meanie Army, reach out to me uh, and I will get you a sticker. Um, <clears throat> I also supported um, um, Game, uh, what is it? Uh, Tabletop Time uh, on YouTube. They're a uh, uh, YouTube channel that does miniature hobby and painting and stuff. A lot focused on 40K, but they do RPGs and stuff. They paint a lot of miniatures. It's a really good channel, a lot of fun. 
um, Jazza has uh, come a long way from the channel. This is my old laptop. I uh, pulled it out to uh, set it up uh, to stream. And as you can see, if I put my hand under the camera, you can see, and I've got it all set up. So I'll be able to start painting. Uh, here's my Rode microphone system. It plugs into the laptop. Um, and then of course, there's my big screen TV where I also stream it to the TV so I can kind of look over uh, the screen here. I have crappy eyes, as everybody knows, I'm sure. Uh, and that screen is really small. So my plan is to eventually set this up. Once I start recording, I'll be able to close the screen and set it off to the side and give me a little more desk space. And then I'll be able to look over here and see what's going on. Um, I have this little tray that is going to go on to the other side of the desk here. And that's where I'm going to sit the laptop. I'm going to sit it right in there. Um, and I think that will be wunderbar, as the old saying goes. So um, we do have a little USB hub under here. You can see it right here. Um, this is the USB hub. You can see a light right there. It's kind of hard to see. This is my USB hub, so I can plug plenty of stuff in. It's USB 3.0, so it's good enough for data transfer and everything, so I can record videos. I can hook up an external hard drive if I need to. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to be able to set up and paint more miniatures. Um, and it, with it being a sit to stand, as you can see, here's the controls right here. So I can raise and lower as I need. Um, it's a really nice desk. It's really sturdy. It's on caster wheels. If you look down there, you can see them. There's caster wheels and they lock, which I thought was pretty cool. That's pretty, you don't see that on a lot of desks. So not to say that this is a top of the line desk. Far from it, I plan on it getting scratched up, paint spilt on it, the whole nine yards. But the whole point is to be able to use it and paint miniatures and have fun while I'm doing it and record at the same time. So hopefully this is the setup that will allow me to do that. There's some other things I want to hood up, put up with it. I want to get some lighting more squared away, but I think the camera is going to work. I can actually bring the camera down a little bit lower to get underneath so you can get a good view. I don't think that's the right height. That's about a foot, maybe 18 inches. I think I need to get it a little bit closer so that I can actually, uh, you guys can see what I'm painting. Because as you can see, if I do this and you're looking there, or maybe we could look at the big screen, yeah. I don't know. You can see that pretty good. I don't know. Maybe that's the right height. I don't know. We'll see. We'll play with it and we'll see what people think. But we got a lot of cool stuff to paint. We got our Gribo. Guys, I've got a whole bunch of classic uh, Reaper metal dwarves uh, that I want to paint for Warlord, which is an awesome uh, miniatures a skirmish game that I really like. It uses D10s. I've got Wrath of Kings, also uses D10s. I, this is what she is. She's a She's a miniature from Wrath of Kings. Uh, so I want to get these all painted up and put together. And then I've got a whole, I don't mean to give anybody dizzy here, but I have, I'm really big into con um, Infinity. And I have the whole box set of the Combined Army, uh, the Aggression, the Morat Aggression Forces Action Pack. So I've got this, and I'm looking forward to start getting this painted. Uh, he doesn't really go with him. He, he is part of the of the combined, but he's a separate solo miniature that I bought you know, on one of my trips to uh, the source uh, down in St. Paul, Minneapolis. So very cool miniature. Looking forward to, to getting some paint on him as well. Of course, we got a Age of Sigmar uh, knight here. I don't know what they're called. I don't play Age of Sigmar. I don't know much about it. But it was a freebie and a white dwarf that I had picked up. And it came with a swamp goblin. I've already cut the swamp goblin out and put him together. But I couldn't tell you for the life of me where he is. Um, and we'll scam over here real quick. And you'll see I got a little a little shrine of, of miniatures here. Some wolves I painted. There's a spider I got to paint up. Um, there's my gunslinger from my friend's Pathfinder game. There's my, my dwarf warrior. There's a skeleton. I actually painted him on the channel using contrast paints. And then we got a griffin. We got a troll, which for my Warhammer game. We've got a giant, which was one of the first things I did with contrast paint. I need to go in and lighten him up a little bit. He's a little too dark. But what I'm really proud of is these guys. These are the Minotaur, the uh, for Conquest Last Argument of Kings. And of course, you got you got to have a... a uh, ooze there, you know, um, 
cube, gelatinous cube. Uh, but yeah, these are these are guys I painted up. I'm very proud of them. So just getting those all set up. Um, so and again, being able to stream it to the big screen there is going to be super nice. So this is my setup. Uh, hopefully, going to get to start painting miniatures soon. Let me know what you guys think about it. Uh, I'm going to paint some individual uh, plastic models. I'm going to paint those dwarves. I'm going to get those put together because um, yeah, I can also use those for. Um, Rangers of the Shadow Deep, and for some other games that are uh, solo play. So I hope you guys are doing well. I'm going to turn this around. Hopefully I can keep me in the frame. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope everyone has a wonderful evening. And as always, let me know what you want to see more of the channel. If you're interested in miniature painting, stay tuned. We're going to do some sit and chill painting. Um, I'm hoping to get started by earlier next week um, <clears throat> in the evening after I put the little guy to bed and just come down here and paint some miniatures for like an hour or so and maybe stream it. So if that's something you're interested in, give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. Grease that algorithm for YouTube. They love it. So other than that, as always, peace and hair grease. And remember, Mr. Mean says be nice.